just want to give you a little bit of um, help with uh, a program in uh, chapter 4, this is 4.2 in fact if I just wave this in front of you I'll show you exactly um, what I'm working on uh, there's the manual, hour 4 and I'm working on this um, this little program here, class blanks in fact why don't I just do this, control C, I'll have to edit out those uh, line numbers on the uh, outside, I'm going to copy that um, and go over here and we'll drop those control V in there, saves me a bit of typing um, and we've got the usual setup here, I'm using Notepad++ Plus Plus. Oh, let me just set language to J for uh, Java and uh, I'll just, uh, just edit out those line numbers something like that, uh, should be able to do something like uh, text effects uh, edit just do that, there we are um, and uh, so that's that little program uh, in, that's in uh, 4.2 and um, it's basically doing something with this uh, this string list called arguments um, and before I went to go into that I was going to just show you how a string sort of works so what I'm going to do at the moment is I'm just going to comment out um, this stuff here and that's how you comment stuff out two slashes will comment that stuff out so we'll go back to that in a second um, what I want to do is uh, I just want to declare a string array and this is how you do it you'll say string and it's array so you put a couple of brackets in like that and then you'll give that string an array a name let's call it um, funny names uh, and let's stick some values in there so we'll have um, uh, idiot what else can I have? Do that. Um, cool. um, teacher. Uh, and um, let's say year one. Maybe. Um, so I've got a string. Let me just make this a little bit wider so you can see what's going on. Uh, I've got a simple string there called uh, funny names, and it's got four values in it. Now the thing you need to know about uh, sorry string array. Now the thing you need to know about arrays is their number from zero, one, two, three. Okay. So uh, if I want to actually uh, print one of those out, let's do uh, system. Um, sorry, syst system dot out dot p r i n t l n. Uh, and if I, oh sorry, in fact, let me just take that out here. Let's do, uh, now well, what I'll do is I'll grab funny uh, names uh, and I will have, uh, I'll grab, uh, let's say I grab one, okay? And um, that should grab um, this one here, this one here, uh, fool, if I run that, okay? So let's control, let's save it first in the right place. I want to do a... Uh, what do we call it? Blanks. So if I uh, save as, and uh, I'm going to save it in. What am I doing? I'm doing hour four. So uh, let's have a look here. I'm going to do hour four, and I'm going to call this um, B L A N K S. Okay, so there's our Java file. Now I'm going to compile it over here. Just before I do that, what I need to do is run my. If I double click on programs, you'll see these are my. This is the uh, the file structure I'm generating now. These are all individual programs I'm generating, and just this one here. This is my little uh, batch file that will set the path, the Java path, so that my uh, window here can see Java and Javax. So the first thing I want to do, I'm in the programs directory. There's p. Is I just type um, p for that, so that sets the Java path. Uh, CLS, back up CLS, and now what I want to do is I want to move to this directory called our four. So if I now CD our uh, our four, and then DIR, uh, we can now see this uh, program called blanks.java, and I should be able to compile that. So if I do Java B L A N K S dot Java, that should compile it for us. See if I've made any mistakes. Got an error there. What am I doing? It says blanks error expected print line. Oh, here we are. Um, system out dot print line. Funny name. Uh, oh, I typed a colon. Let me change that semicolon. Go back over here. Up arrow. Compile that again. Uh, oh, still got another. Uh, uh, symbol variable funny names oh because I called it funny names you watch me debug live this is unfortunately what the world of a programmer is like 
Okay, so that's compiled. And if I run that now, uh, Java P L A N K, do I call it blanks? Yeah. Uh, and there we are. It's uh, it's picked the first one. So in other words, that's the north one. That's the first one. The second one. The third one. If I was to now type in here, say, oh, I don't know, uh, say, as for the fourth one. So you think funny name? It's uh, funny names. It's got um, uh, four. Um, uh, strings in this string array here is going to pick the fourth one. Oh no, it won't. If I go back and uh, save that, uh, let's do Java compile it. Compiles okay. Now try running the code. Uh, Java banks. And we've got a problem, and it says array index out of bounds. So in other words, this array index is 0, 1, 2, 3, and I was asking for something which was out of bounds of that array, that number 4. So that's basically uh, a short intro to uh, how arrays work. There, um, You get more on uh, arrays further on the book. I forget what it is. It's chapter... Blah, 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 blah. Let's have a quick look. Um, chapter 9, there's a whole chapter on arrays, okay? But that's just a quick intro to arrays. Now what I want to do is go back to this uh, this original program. So let me just delete uh, that stuff there and now let's uncomment this and uh, let's show you how this looks. And in fact what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these um, spaces out just so you can see the whole thing in one line. You can see what's going on. Um, there we are. Um, and if I just extend that a little bit so you can see what's going on, we've got this long line here that basically says system out print line. And it says the, and then it adds to it whatever uh, we put uh, in this um, string array called arguments. Well, we're going to feed that string array to the program when it fires up. And it'll take whatever the first thing is and stick it in there. It'll take the second thing out of arguments and put it in there. And then it'll take the third thing and put it in there. Any more arguments than that, it'll ignore. So if there's a four, fifth, or six, it'll just ignore it. Now, just to show the formatting of this, uh, you can actually just make it a bit easier to see by doing this. Um, and um, Java just ignores those spaces. It only works on the uh, semicolons. That's that's all it's basically interested in. Uh, so let's just uh, control less that. Go over here and um, compile it. Okay, just uh, CLS bring you back up here. If I now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it as run it like that, and I'm not going to give it anything. I'm not going to give any values at all. Let's run that, and it says now there's a problem here because it's basically expecting um, this string to have something in it. Uh, sorry, that string array something in it, and we haven't fed it anything. It's expecting us to feed three things to it so it can actually populate there. That's item one, item two, item three. So what I need to do is I do Java banks and then feed it three things. So I call it, oh, I don't know, uh, big, um, uh, smelly, uh, stupid. I don't know why I've got smelly stupid on the, uh, the brain, but there we are. Uh, smelly. Smell it, big smelly stupid. Now, so I'm feeding that. Th that I'm feeding the um, the inputting uh, string here. I'm feeding it three items. That should work. So there we are. It's picked up uh, big, smelly, and stupid. If I fed it four things, so if I went this and said, well, I don't know, uh, fat, it would just ignore that fourth item. It'll just run and give you the first three. It says, well, I'm not bothered what else you've got in that uh, string array, but I'm just going to deal with the first three. If I gave it only two, so in other words, I'm a delete fat stupid, it's going to give us a problem again, because it's going to say, there's something wrong with this. You've given me an array here with only two items in it, naught and one, and I was expecting the third item here uh, to be around, and uh, it wasn't there. Hope that makes a bit of sense for unit four.